So lately um, I've been a lot more active on Instagram, where you should definitely follow me. And what I noticed among a lot of people getting started with coding or getting better with coding is that they actually read a lot of books. So if I look up the coding books category, you see a lot of people are getting uh, coding books and learning to code with books. I don't know about you, but I don't think that's a very good idea. I've never been a huge fan of coding books, so today I want to talk about things to get better with coding or getting started with code that are not related to books and maybe related to iPhones and to smoothies. Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon and this week I wanted to talk about uh, becoming a better developer and doing it not with books. I'm not really a fan of books. I like reading books in the evening like for self-help or self-development or things like that. But for coding, I think once a book is released, it's basically outdated. That's what also happened to uh, the ebook I created like three years ago on Ionic. And this happens all the time. And I think really for most cases, um, a book isn't the best form to learn development or getting better with a specific framework, language, whatever it is that you want to become better with. So what is the best way in my eyes is definitely just building something. For example, you want to learn Angular. You go to the Angular page and in their tutorial there's a great example where you are not only building a little to-do list, but it's, I think it's called Tour of Heroes or something like that. And it's really great. Um, you learn all the basics of Angular, even um, some of the more advanced concepts, and it is really, really great. And the same counts for other areas as well. So you want to become an iOS developer? Well, then think of a cool app that you might uh, develop, maybe not Vainglory or Clash Royale, like a small app that you could develop and just do it. So if I would right now uh, want to get into, let's say, Flutter or React Native, I would definitely think of a small application, maybe even a to-do app, and I would simply start building the application. And therefore, when you work on a concrete project, be it just a small little application that nobody's going to use, uh, you will definitely improve your skills a lot more than uh, when you read just a book and everything inside the book sounds great and everything works and then you start a real project and suddenly you see all the errors and you have no idea how to fix them. I don't know, maybe I'm completely wrong and you have a different opinion. Maybe the people reading those books about CSS and everything uh, have a lot more knowledge about it than I do. Yes, I admit this. I'm not an expert on those things. I sometimes miss a bit the context behind things, but I know how to make things work. So if you have the choice between uh, reading a book for one hour or working on a project for one hour, I would recommend to definitely use the project at any time. And through the years, I've applied this concept many times. And maybe we can take a look at some of my old side projects. I will try to find them so we can see what we can learn from them. And maybe we can also laugh a bit about them. I'm super excited. All right, I actually found some hidden gems of my old side projects. Um, let's take a look at them. So this is basically like uh, one of the first things it is actually in German. Um, it was in 2005, I did it with a friend of mine. Back then, if we would have pursued the idea of creating web design for small companies, I think we have, would have been at a different place right now, um, because at that time, there was like printing money, right? So, said this didn't work out in the end, but at that point, I did a lot of PHP and a lot of these great graphics, as you can see up here. Uh, I was I was pretty dope back then. So I also tried to create those browser games, which were all very popular at that time. Uh, as you can see, responsive was not an idea back then. Um, I created a few of them. This was like a trading game. Those projects um, showed me how to create things back then. I learned a lot about PHP limited i would say because at that point i was like 15 16 i had no idea about software development architecture or whatsoever so all of those projects were pretty shitty um, most of them were never really released but still they taught me a lot about creating websites um you know getting just getting into coding right and also i got a lot of great um apps let me bring in a few so in terms of uh apps I was also on the uh, front side of creating bullshit apps. Uh, I think there was like um, 
whatever the first application I created with Ionic. Um, actually, not that bad, even with an unlock for Pro Mode. I don't know if anyone purchased it. Maybe I purchased it. I don't know. But yeah, performance is pretty good, right? Uh, you could step into those things and the background was pretty epic, I think. You could add links, you could add clips, you could add images. Um, not really looking that good. I think that was Ionic 1 back then. Um, but still, that application actually was released and it taught me a lot about um, the App Store process and getting into the flow. That's actually a remake of the very first application I did with a friend. Um, so it's a classic number game. Uh, you have to cross out the uh, elements that sum up to 10 or are equal. Whatever, it's actually a pretty nice game, but as you can see, the graphic isn't that good. But still, um, this taught me a lot about creating little small games, um, using Ionic for it, uh, whatever. Just the whole flow of getting into the App Store. And at some point I got a bit better, so I created this um, Priotrix uh, app. I think I've shared it at some point. You can basically um, schedule your things in those things and move them around. It's not as bad, right? This was the first like um, nice UI and really uh, working app with Ionic. So I was really proud about it at that time. And then at some point I also created like an uploading app with private groups. Initially this should have become something like this was my bachelor party. Not a lot of pictures, it was very rainy, but we uh, played in a nice cinema on a huge screen Xbox. That was epic. Uh, anyhow, uh, enough of those projects or maybe just uh, last project because at some point um, I left those shitty projects and got into more serious stuff. One of the last things I created last year was this I am creator thingy. Actually, um, I really enjoyed the idea. Um, the problem was nobody was using it. So um, this was also just teaching me how to create websites that are more responsive, um, at least a bit more responsive, and also how to scrape different things like uh, WordPress blogs, YouTube things, uh, Medium. As you can see, you can import all your applications and just create those pages and see all the content you created along with you. I still enjoy this idea a lot, but just like other um, projects that I did, this has a huge problem. So the problem of these things, um, I created this I am creator, I created the uh, Ionic snippets page a long time ago, and just recently I created the uh, Ionic job board, as you might have heard, where you can post jobs that shouldn't have happened. Uh, anyhow. And speaking of side projects, you've seen the creator page, the snippets, the job board. All of these uh, have a problem. They don't generate any income. After you learn to write great code or whatever it is, you need to get paying customers, especially for the job boards, which is uh, one of my current focuses. It is actually hard to get paying customers because of the chicken and egg problem, you know. People want to see other jobs in there from different companies um, before they pay for like posting their own job. But I just get jobs into the page if people pay for the job. So that's why I also added a highly discounted price. If you're a company or if you know a company that is looking for an Ionic developer, um, please forward them to Ionic Jobs, link below the video. They can currently post a job for 10 bucks, which is like nothing for a company to search for jobs. I got a quite a big network of Ionic developers that I know, so this could definitely be something, but I have to learn a lot about marketing, also for the other side projects I want to do this year. So I'm not exactly sure if I shared this before, but this year I want to release one side project every two months. Because I want to build another part of income stream and the Ionic job board was the first thing this year. The two months are already over, so I tried to do some marketing in the background while I actually work on the next idea, which is... <laughs> which is an analytics board for a member press plugin for WordPress.
Okay, I know what you think, it's like the most boring idea I ever had, but it's actually something pretty useful. I need this for my own Ionic Academy to manage some members, to generate invoices, and to get a better view about all the payments. This could really become something, and I will definitely keep you updated about the progress. I got two months, today is 6th of March, that means I don't even have two full months to work on it. But the good thing is I already got some code that I've written for it previously so I can reuse that code and then focus on getting it out and perhaps get a paying customer maybe one day. I don't know. All right, and that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you uh, are not frustrated about reading your books. I don't want to discourage anyone. It's just my opinion that creating projects is a bit better than just reading books. Anyhow, if you got any questions, like always, please leave them in the comments. I'm always happy to jump in and help you out. Maybe not the Ionic questions, leave them in the other videos. And as always, make things happen. Happy coding. Sign.